hold this in case I'm... Can I hold it? Yeah, you can. Okay. okay. So, um, officially, welcome to Czech Republic, welcome to Hip Hop Camp. Hey. And thank you once again for this amazing concert here at the Backspin Hangar. Mm -hmm. uh, how are you feeling after the concert, your first gig at the I feel, I feel, the, I feel amazing. My voice is going. Um, that always happens when I give like 120,000. Yeah. But um, other than that, I feel great. Like, I always black out. Mm -hmm. Not like drunk. Yeah. I black out kind of like, I don't want this to sound weird, but turn into a different person before I go on stage, you know what I'm saying? Right now, cool, calm. Yeah. But I get on stage, you saw it. Yeah. You're not turning up? What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> get the, move over there. We want people with their hands up and jumping. So, uh, like I say, you gotta be stern. You gotta look at people. Hey, this is my stage. I didn't fly from Buffalo for you to stand there with your hands. This is my shit, you know what I'm saying? And uh, when you bring that energy, people go nuts. You like, I don't give a fuck, this is my shit. They go crazy. They see that shit and they're like, God damn. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's why I try to come with every time. Yeah. I mean, that, that's pretty inter interesting about you because there are actually like two sides. Yeah. There's James and there's Sabre. So like, I always tell people, like, I believe in yin and yang. Mm -hmm. I believe what you get, you give. That I, like, you fuck five people over, mm -hmm. they might not fuck you over. Five people not fuck you over right now, but it might be happy 20 years from now. Mm -hmm. Somebody might fuck you over when you're dead. It's just karma. I believe that. Like, so you put that good energy out there. Make motherfuckers turn up. Make motherfuckers have a smile on their face. Hands up, have fun. You know what I'm saying? When I'm me, just, hey, smile. Hold the door for people. Be kind. Don't be an asshole. Don't be a dick. Got too many dicks in the road. And, come on, man. So that's how I try to come. Light and dark. James, my real name. He's a light one. He'll smile. Hey, man, how you doing? How's your day? Saber, dark motherfucker, man. That's a dark motherfucker. So, yin and yang. So, there's some artistic, creative shit that I do in my head. You think about my lyrics, they dark as fuck. Yeah, so was that from the very, very beginning, or did you come up with this image you know, in stages? It just kind of happened organically. Mm -hmm. And listen to my music, I'm like, damn, that's some cold ass shit. I said, yeah. why the fuck you say that? Why the fuck you say, you want to take his girlfriend and do this? That's some dark shit. But, yeah. James, hey man, that's your girl, man. I respect it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just gotta have that contrast. Contrast is good. Make a motherfucker look at you like, what? They try to figure you out. They gotta think, they gotta use their brain. Oh, he's not just a, a nice guy. Nice guys get fucked over all the time. Mm -hmm. They don't got no dark side. You need a dark side. Mm -hmm. Let motherfuckers know. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, what's the genesis of Bill Saber? Like, what's, uh, was there a particular artist or I don't know, track that it's, got you into rap? It's, a, you it's a combination of everything, right? Mm -hmm. So, like, you look at life, like, oh, damn. My shit fucked up, I don't got this. You turn TV on, you young black kid. Yeah. Turn TV on, my mom turn TV on. Who on TV? Jay-Z, P. Diddy, yeah. Biggie, Tupac. She's dudes in videos, you like, yo, he in LA, like, Tupac dancing and got 20 women with him, beautiful women. Mm -hmm. What's that life like? You think about that, if you have half of a brain, you'll figure out like, what's that life like? Then you'll think, next question is just questions. Can I get that life? Okay, well, if I got that life, how would I do it? Oh, well, he's rapping. He's doing it. Do I like rap? Oh, I love music. Mm -hmm. Am I good at it? Try anything for the first time. You're not going to be good at it. Mm -hmm. But if you dare to be different and dare to be good at it, you'll find a way. If you really want it, you'll find a way. And that's what rap is to me. I see a bunch of people making it. Like, damn. Mad motherfuckers come from the struggle. They just make it. Mm -hmm. It's a tenacity in the brain. It's like, damn, that motherfucker don't stop. People think these dudes are just hood and street. Hey man, come on, come on, I did it, I am, man. But those dudes are smart, man. They put a formula together and they made the world love their fucking music. That's some smart shit. Everyone can't do it. So I fell in love with that aesthetic and that idea. So. So, uh, what's the significance of your of your nickname, Bill Saber? That's just my that's my city, Buffalo, New York. Yeah. We got the Buffalo Bills. Yeah. We got the Buffalo Sabers. I said, man, Buffalo don't got no superstar, man. Like Buffalo don't got no superstar, bro. Like Rick James, if you want to say that. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Google Dolls. Uh, Brian McKnight. You know what I'm saying? Need somebody. Mm -hmm. Somebody on some different shit. And I don't care if they like me right now, but mm -hmm. I'm be dead, gone. A thousand years. And a thousand years from now, I'm going to be like, yo, dude, bro. There was a dude. He had fucking horns and he was fucking big on, big on stage, man. You got to, excuse me, you got to just take that in for a second. They might not get it right now. They're going to get it later, though. So, And that's why you got to look like a thousand years from now. What's gonna happen? People here are not gonna get it. So longevity. Longevity. Yeah. See, 
go up fast, you come down fast. Mm -hmm. so I've been going like this, steady, whole time. No questions. No question about that. So, also your videos are pretty interesting. Yeah. Uh, so, how, how do you remember creating your first, uh, your first video? Everything has a concept, right? So, just take me and break me into pieces. My hair, completely different concept from my raps. Yeah. My raps, completely different concept from the videos. Videos, completely different concept from my live performance. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like an experience. Mm -hmm. All right, when I get a Bill Saber video, I'm expecting this. When I go to a live show, I'm expecting expecting this. When I get this merch, I'm doing this. Mm -hmm. And when I see him, I'm expecting this. Expect him to be kind, smile, take pictures. It's just like fuck people up in the head. Mm -hmm. Let's make them think, man. I always tell people they make motherfuckers think, man. Mm -hmm. If you come in, and you're like, yeah. I'm a wiggity rapper and I'm rickety rap. And they're like, all right, nigga, you a fucking rapper, that rickety rap, nigga, you yeah, told yeah. us. But if you come, and you say, yeah, yeah, and you braid your hair, then you, then you lift. There's no reason to lift. I don't play football, I don't play on sports. There's no reason to look like that on stage. Most people, rappers, fat, skinny, on drugs. Mm -hmm. Why? Take care of your body. Yeah. Everything means something different. My body, my brain, my soul, everything means something different. And like I said, a thousand years from now, they're gonna be like, damn, that motherfucker had it. Like, he was, he was somewhere where motherfuckers wasn't. So, that's what I'm grinding for. If you can get me now and everything that I'm doing, I'm not working hard enough. That's how I feel. And, uh, like, the Twitter, your Instagram name uh, yeah. is Black Goku. Black Goku. And in one of the interviews with Pigeons and Planes, yeah. uh, actually, you mentioned that, uh, I mean, you have just amazing just array of plans yeah, for, for, sure. the, for the future. Yeah. Uh, you also want to create your own anime. One hundred percent. Yeah. One hundred percent. And every character is going to represent something that happened in my life. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to tell anyone that this monster represented, uh, for instance, being homeless. Mm -hmm. But to me, I'm going to watch him be like, damn. The protagonist defeated the antagonist and he got on to the next level. I think it's a beautiful thing. Anime is a beautiful thing. And, uh, and not telling direct, directly. Yeah, for sure. Make people ask Yep, 100%. Yeah, so. can't wait. Yeah, so what's next? Uh, I take it very slow. Marilyn Manson said he want to make music. He said he want to tour. I want to push out music as much as I want, but I also do believe that if I just pop up with me and him on a song one day, people gonna lose their fucking shit. Then we pop up with a tour, mm -hmm. motherfuckers gonna lose their fucking shit. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And that's when that shit gonna go like this. And if that shit don't happen, I believe in my process. Mm -hmm. I could do it. I have a motto, with or without you, I'll achieve everything and more. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't need this cosign. I don't need cosigns. Mm -hmm. But if you actually like my music like he does, yeah. that's just going to turn into something special. Yeah. And I just can't wait to show the world that, so that's what's next. Yeah. Can we also expect a, a, a collaboration with Marilyn Manson? Because 100%. Yeah. 100%. Last time I saw him, two, three weeks ago, mm -hmm. he was like, let's do music. I said, let's do music. Oh, I got my phone with me. I'll show you the text. He's like, yeah, we got to do music. I said it again when he left. So, yeah. And it's like, what the fuck does that sound like? Who knows? No one knows. So, yeah, I'm excited. That's 100%. You have no clue what the next one is. This next song going to sound creepy and lurking. It's going to sound like, bitch, make me mad. It's going to sound like, fuss supreme. It's going to sound like, lemonade. It's going to sound like, it's going to sound like, make people think, man. 100%. That's all I do. So just out of curiosity, because uh, I read the story. Yeah. Marilyn uh, Manson actually discovered you through a movie. Yeah. Uh, Mom and Dad. One hundred percent. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So uh, how exactly did you did your uh, did you star in this, in, in this movie too? No. So people hit you up all the time. Yeah. Do hit me up on SoundCloud. Hit me on my email. Mm -hmm. I think hit me on Twitter. I was like, this motherfucker persistent as fuck. Yeah. I told my mom. She she never did no manager shit for, for me, mm -hmm. but I was like, uh, mom, I think it's time. Call this dude and see what he's talking about. She called him. She told me he's like, register your song, send him this, send him a photo of all your music. Before I know it, it's like my birthday. My mom's like, mom and dad come out and they got your song. So they like the song. Man, I'm telling you, mom and dad came out January 19th or January 21st, so Friday, because my birthday is January 16th. In February, Manson was in Buffalo asking me to come out because he found me. And so you think about that shit, anything can happen any second. Mm -hmm. 
That's all I want to show people. Be ready for anything. Are you ready for that moment? A lot of people not. Now people not ready for their life to change for like the better or the worse. Mm -hmm. So when something bad happens, it's like, oh fuck, something bad happened. But something good happened, like, oh I can't believe it, I don't know what to do. Waste all the money or lose your girlfriend or whatever, because you're not ready. Expect everything, anything can happen. Be ready. That's what being an animal is all about. That's a great motto. Yeah, for sure. Um, do you have any message to your fans in Poland, in Eastern Europe? And uh, Czech Republic? First of all, if you're a Bill Saber fan, in 2018, I fucking love you with my whole heart because not a lot of people know me. You feel me? That's number one. I love you with my whole heart. And I can't wait to see your beautiful face. And I can't wait till we sing all my fucking songs together in a fucking arena. No stage, no festival. I love that shit. It's the grind. But arenas. Arenas where I can actually come out in a cage and have animal man magnetics on the stage and all that. To my ideas, bring that shit to life. Right now, love my mama, let my mama do everything. Hey, I focus on the music. When I get my catalog up, tour with Manson, song with Manson, it's time for motherfuckers to pass on to the next life. I wanna kill shit. Kill everybody. Kill everything. everything. Kill everything. Everything in your motherfucking way, kill it. And that's a mindset. It's not a fucking command. Some people are wild. Oh, let me get a gun and a knife and kill everything. No. Nope. It's the mindset. Kill mindsets off. Something bad in your life, kill that shit. You don't got to live in your life. This is your universe. You created this shit. Kill everything. You're not helping me? Okay, cool. Kill you off real quick. You go over there. New chapter. Let me open the door. I have blessings this way. You're trying to hold me back. Nothing personal. Kill mindsets, not people. You don't have the right to take a life. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So, thank you for the interview. 100%. Man. Yeah. Have a great time. So, man. Appreciate it. Hey.